Well, Hubbard is at the back. Jeremy Smith comes on to the wing to replace Ryan Russell. Rodder and Miles are in the centres. Doyle is on the other wing. Burton and Thorburn are some very good halves for the Crushers. Tukey at the back. Robert Bella and Heath Crookshank are in the second row. His brother, Anthony Bella, is in the front row with Davis and Nathan Soliginkin. This is a very good side for South Queensland. Uh, they've got a lot of good talent, the Crushers. I appreciate their first grade side has struggled since they've come into the competition, but a lot of talent in the juniors. There's Mark Tukey there. He's played a fair bit of first grade. So in terms of mergers, the Crushers certainly have a lot to offer in terms of their junior depth. Well, the Crushers, of course, won the President's Cup last year, and uh, many of these second graders have uh, come out of that President's Cup success. Let's just take a look at uh, how they've come into this game tonight. They've won their last two, including last weekend's final against Illawarra at the Sydney Football Stadium. They also picked up a win by 30 points over Wests and then lost to the Bears by 26. Manly, of course, picked up an extraordinary win here last weekend against Sydney City by just two points. And they lost the last two before that, the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. So perhaps tonight, Mario, we can expect better things. Yeah, we were here last week and watched Manly win in a very entertaining game over the Roosters. And two guys that really stood up, Dunley and Magnus. I don't doubt oh. we will be mentioning their names right through the course <laughs> of this match. Uh, Billy Weep, who's in the front row as well. Uh, Durdevic's another one that stands out. As we see Manly, there's Billy Weep, there leading the Manly side out. Robert Johnson, the captain, the man with the ball. Brett Fulton at uh, hooker this evening as well. They've had a pretty good year, Manly. They started pretty slowly. And uh, apart from the last couple of games, they've finished pretty well. Wharton will be at the back. Nathan Black and Brent Byrne are the wings. Torrens and Duncan, two very good centres for this Manly team. Brendan Magnus and Shane Dunley are the stars of the side, though, in the halves. Johnson off the back. Matt Rua and Shannon Keeks are in the second row. Corey Underwood, Brett Fulton, and the man on your screen there, Big Billy Weepu, uh, the front row. That's Matt Rua, who comes into the second row today. And Paul Simpkins is our referee this evening. Just checking with... Robbie Johnson. This will be an entertaining, entertaining game, this one, Eric. Both sides like to throw the football around, so certainly with the likes of Magnus and Dunley and, and certainly Scott Thorburn for the Crushers and Mark Burton, they move the ball around, both good athletes. So we're underway in second grade. Brett Wharton gets us underway. And straight away, the Crushers' big men take control. Anthony Bella, one of three Bella brothers in action this evening. Two in this game and another one in the main game later on. Marty Bella playing for the Gold Coast. Of course, great manly defence. Robert Johnson involved in Big Billy Weepu. This manly defence tends to be where they win the game. Have all of this for a shot. Billy Weepu sticks the shoulder in. Billy breaks him in half. He's a big man, Weepu. It comes for Scott Thorburn, who kicks long, sending Wharton back inside his 10-metre area, back in to the in goal for just a step or two. But uh, he recovers well, and he takes play up towards the 10-metre line. Yeah, nice starting set of six for the Crushers. They advance the football very simply. And then we saw a wonderful kick there by Scott Thorburn, right into the corner. Now the Crushers trying to keep this manly side uh, entrenched in that 20-metre line. This is Corey Underwood. Fulton down the blind side. Looks around for support. Miles is there in defence. Last tackle for Manley. They'll look to kick long and high. Wharton does so. Sending Paul Hubbard back towards his 10 metre line. And now he has the opportunity to return. Underwood's up there in defence. And Hubbard eventually dragged down towards the 30-metre line. So a pretty good six for Manley as well, with a good kick on the end of it from Wharton. There's Dr Nathan Gibbs there. He was the doctor when I was at South Sydney, a very fine young doctor. The Australian uh, doctor as well, a lot of experience. He was a former player and a good one at that. Played with South Sydney for many years and then went to Parramatta. Tukey dragged down close to the halfway line. Thorburn. Decides to go himself. Last tackle for South Queensland. 
on to the left foot they go. Very ordinary kick too. That was Paul Hubbard. Seemed to miss time the, the kick. We saw a nice kick uh, earlier in the game by Thorburn. Now Manly in better field position. They move the ball wide. And here they come. Magnus brings in the outside. Shannon Keats dragged down just over the 40. This is Johnson. Showed the ball. Decides to take the tackle close to the halfway line. The crushes the fence moving up in unison. Weepu out in the back line. He'll shrug off a couple of tackles and manages to free the ball. Out for Nathan Black. He comes back, tries to straighten up. Does so now inside Crusher's territory. Shane Dunley. He's got support from Magnus. Magnus looks around, picks up Underwood. Weepu is out on this side again. Stepping goes Albert Torrens. Torrens straight through. Looking for someone to give it to and can't find anyone. Last tackle for Manly. Underwood. Magnus kicks back to the blind where Nathan Black will try to follow up, but it falls harmlessly into the arms of Brian Doyle. The kick just too far. Yeah, quite a poor kick there. Uh, Crusher's able to cope with pretty much everything that Manly's thrown at them so far. Very good defence by the Crushers as we see Tukey work the ball out over the 20-metre line. It's all about the mistakes this game. The side that makes the most mistakes will lose. That's a nice run by Bella. Half break made by Robert Bella up past the 40-metre line in Crusher's territory. Crookshank manages to offload, but the Manly defence is there as well for Robert Bella. Inside Manly territory. Still no score. We're into the fifth minute here at Parramatta in this major qualifying final in second grade. Last tackle for the Crushers. Burton. This time he finds Thorburn. Thorburn goes to the right boot. Wharton is back there, as is Black. Wharton lets it bounce. He goes back into the end goal. Now he's got some work to do. Oh. He manages to get out into the field to play. What great play that was by Brett Wharton. Well, Wharton appeared to, to muff the kick. The ball went in the, in the end goal area. The Crushers chased but they weren't able, there's the replay there. Comes off his fingertips. You'd think they'd keep him in here, the Crushers. That's a bit of a let off there for, for Manly. He does well to get out in the end. This game turning into a bit of an arm wrestle. Tit for tat sets uh, both these sides. No sides come up with any mistakes yet. Well, it's always gonna be an arm wrestle. It's sudden death in this game. As it comes down for Hubbard, and the reward for the winner of tonight's contest is a game against the winner of Sunday's game between Parramatta and Balmain. Here we go. Straight through goes Bella. He looks around, tries to put on the fen. Brought down about 22 metres out from the Manly line. Kerry Carmichael is out in the back line. He manages to attract three Manly tacklers, put down just outside the 20-metre line. They work the blind through Anthony Bella. He takes on the defence, dragged down just inside the touchline by Nathan Black. Doyle for Thorburn, back inside for Crookshank. Five metres out from the line now, the Crushers. One of their options, will they look for Thorburn? He manages to give the ball out for Burton. Looks back inside. They're keeping the ball alive, the Crushers. Sologinkin. He winds up. Brought down five metres out on the last. They continue to work the blind through Thorburn. It comes off a manly player and goes backwards, according to referee Paul Simpkins. Well, that was the first set of six we saw. One side seemed to get over the top of the other. The Crushers in a pretty good set of six in attack. A couple of good offloads. Manly able to withstand the pressure, though, as we see. Merely trying to work the ball out. The Crushers have got some good players. I like the look of Thorburn. I like how he goes to the line, and he looks like he's their main playmaker. Still nil all. Up to almost seven minutes gone in this game. And uh, Jason Taylor, what Mario said before about the team that makes the mistake could lose, could be right. Yeah, it's a good point, that one. It's, I suppose both sides would have talked a bit about that during the week. Um, the conditions down here on the sideline are, are, are pretty much perfect for rugby league. There's, there was a bit of wind in the first game that seems to have dropped away now. If it comes up at all, it's, it's favouring the manly side in the first half. 
but a very tight game early and I'm, I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of that as the night goes on just just good defense teams putting pressure on the opposition trying to, to put the ball in the end goal get the drop out and, and, and put the pressure on looking for the mistake to happen this is David Miles the taking crush, play 35 metres out from the Manly line. The Crush has seen he playing the football a bit quicker now, and there seems to be a bit more room to move. Manly not, not moving up as quick as we see the referee hoist his arm up for the last tackle. Bella will play it on the 30 metre line. It comes for Thorburn. He goes to the right foot. Brett Wharton is back in defence. Can he get this one? Yes, he does. And he takes it on the full in goal. It must have been a bit of a line call. And we'll come back to the 20 metre mark for the restart. Underwood. He didn't look all that comfortable, did Wharton. He, the ball wobbled around him. Jason Taylor told us there's a little bit of a breeze there. But nevertheless, he took the ball safely. Manly not able to get some field position. The Crushers, their defence is hitting hard as we, as we see a sloppy pass there. They're going backwards, Manly. This is Shannon Keats. Decides to straighten up play. Takes the tackle himself. 30 out from the line. And you'll see a lot of this tonight the halves having a go from dummy half it was shane dunley as they work the blind through wee poo he takes on burton manages to bump off the first but put down on the tackle of mooney wee poo will play it on the halfway line to his captain magnus dunley looking for space was elf duncan but the gap closed on him kerry carmichael prominent in defense magnus again this time Wharton's kick is deep but again falls harmlessly for Paul Hubbard what a high quality game this one as we see Manly now trying to put some pressure on the crushers both sides not coming up with errors this kid here Thorburn so far has controlled play pretty well for the crushers as we see a nice pressure relieving penalty for holding the player down Brett Fulton it was and that relieves a lot of pressure there's Thorburn there trying to play the ball referee probably doesn't have a choice there but to give the crushes a penalty the crush is slightly on top as far as i can see jeremy smith high tackle i think the referee is going to stop play taken high That's scott park it was so a couple of seconds after the first penalty the match was awarded the yeah. second comes straight after she's looking at the replay it's just nothing well, the referees, they pulled, they pulled the game up for us. It was warming up in your day, wasn't it? Was nothing. As we see, the crushes with the football now, trying to advance the football. Good field position now. Well, Smith picked up 20 metres on that run. Here comes Tuki. Takes on Underwood. Underwood gets him low. They're up to the 30 metre line. Thorburn. This is Bella. Bella's dragged down low by Johnson. Thorburn for Burton. On the run around comes Thorburn, picks up Hubbard. He hits the line at pace, can't get through the defence. Tuki again having his turn with the ball. Quick hands, brings it back now for the Crushers. They're inside the 10 metre line, Manly Territory, last tackle. Carmichael, the kick through will be too long. Kerry Carmichael's kick way too big. Just a shocker that uh, the, the play was to keep Manly in the in goal area. The Crushers have had pretty good field position. Here's the kick here. Always going to be too big. And Manly being let off the hook there. The Crushers slowly getting on top. Manly, to their credit, they were hanging on very well there. Well, all sorts of first-grade players are here at Parramatta Stadium this evening taking a, a keen interest in their teams that are playing in the lower grades. Jason Taylor is one of them, and he's on the sideline with another. Yeah, thanks, Eric. I've got David Gillespie down here with me, Dave. You guys had the week off last week. You, you're out here watching the reserve grade go around tonight. Did you watch many of the games last week? Yeah, we come and watched um, our reserve grade play last week. We also, um, you know, watched the other games, the other, the other sides play, and um, you know, there's a few injuries, so which was pretty good, mate. You've had a couple of weeks off, but your form probably isn't exactly what you would have liked it to be in, in your last couple of games. So have you worked on that? Yeah, we've been pretty patchy our last couple of games, but um, you know, we've, we've had the extra week off and um, to work uh, iron things out, and we have done that. So you now we're really looking forward to playing on. Sunday. 
Newcastle looked pretty good in their game against Parramatta. They got they got behind early, but they really came home strongly. They got some good players in their side. Yeah, they got a very good side. Um, you know, obviously their halves are exceptional. Um, you know, and their forwards, uh, no nonsense type of players. They just take it up all day and they hit hard. So, mate, we're going to feel in our game. But um, you know. You know, we've been there the last couple of years in the semi-finals. We know what it's all about. So, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be giving it our best shot on Sunday. You talk about that experience, also some depth in the club. You, you mentioned you watched the guys play last week. They're, they're going OK at the moment. It's, it's good to have a couple of grades in the semi-finals. Oh, certainly. You know, and they've worked hard all year. They've, um, they've come home strong, you know, the last six weeks of the comp to, to make to force their way into the playoffs. And um, it's just tonight, if they can get a bit of the ball and um, use their, their two halves in Brendan Magnus and Dunley, Shane Dunley, they go, all right, they're two very good players. Thanks for talking to us and good luck on Sunday. Thanks, JT. David Gillespie. I'm sure Mario will have a, a prominent role to play on Sunday. Yeah, he's been a, a good player for a long time, very highly respected uh, as a forward. He's a no-nonsense player, and he has earned the, the respect of rival forwards over the years. His career comes to an end this year. It's, uh, it'll be a sad uh, day for Dave Gillespie. He's won a number of competitions with, uh, with the Canterbury Club and has been a great player for a long time. A very tough man is Dave Gillespie, and he'll be crucial to Manly if they're going to defend their title. It will be an extraordinary game, Manly playing Newcastle. Here's Brett Wharton up into the line. Just 15 metres out as they work the blind through Dunley. It's probably been the first opportunity Manly have had at the Crushers line. Let's see how the Crushers go at uh, withstanding some pressure. Johnson. Magnus decides to step and take the tackle himself just 12 metres out from the line. Keats into dummy half. This is Scott Park. Beats the first tackle, dragged down just a couple of metres out from the line. Fulton. Magnus steps off the left foot. Oh, crashed in the tackle over the top by Robert Bella. The kick through from Brett Wharton is just too long. Oh, wouldn't you believe it? It was just too long. Magnus appeared to be over the line. How he, he was stopped, I don't know. Oh. There's Wharton there cursing himself. He realises he's probably let the crushes off the hook. Crushes now with a play of the ball about 30 metres out. Here comes Solajinkin. That's a nice run there. Up past the 40 as they work the blind and some good hit-ups now. There's Woodward from the crushes. Still managing to work the blind. Kerry Carmichael taken about 10 metres inside Manly Territory. Thorburn. This is Robert Bella. Good field position now for the Crushers. They can go either way. They swing it to the right. Thorburn. Burton. Back inside they come. That was David Miles. Last tackle now for the Crushers. And Thorburn goes high down the blind. It's a good kick. Wharton is back there. This time oh. he's safe, and what a tackle. Oh! <laughs> Jeremy Smith. Well, it's a won. penalty. It's a penalty against Manley. Wharton resented the tackle. You'll see it on the replay. He had no choice, the referee. He used an elbow, Wharton. He takes the ball well, resents the hit there. What's the elbow come across? Oh, we don't quite pick it up. Ooh. Outstanding hit. Oh, there we go. There it is there. Now the Crushers have got a chance. Here comes Solajinkin. Jeremy Smith with an absolute bell ringer. Great field position for the Crushers. Short ball now for Woodward. He takes play just five metres out from the Manly line. They work the mousetrap. It comes out for Carmichael. He steps off the left foot. Picks up a couple of metres. Dragged down just short of the line. Wrong way. Absolutely nowhere to go for Mark Burton. He did a quick 360 and it was tackled on the same spot. This time they go close. Oh, just held up a metre from the line. Last tackle now for the Crushers. And he's put it down, Scott Thorburn. Well, there is an opportunity wasted. Oh, well, Eric, that was a sloppy set of six. A great chance there for the Crushers. They got a penalty five metres out from their line. That pretty much typified the set by the Crushers. We saw Burton take off from dummy half and go nowhere. Then a silly mistake by, by Scott Thorburn. Manly struggling to get out of their own end. Crushers just can't seem to put them away. 
Johnson with the job to do as he gets up towards the 20. Well, both teams now, Jason Taylor, have had opportunities to score, but uh, none can put the final punch away. Yeah, that's true. You've, you've probably give, got to give a bit of credit to, to the defence. Both sides have had some pressure, had to defend their own line and done it well. Manly's made a mistake here. The crushes, as, as Mario's mentioned, they seem to be, to be building towards a try. But Manly's defence has been solid so far. And again, at the other end, Manly put a good set of six together and, and the Crushers withstood it. So it's, it's a very close game at the moment, but the Crushers with another opportunity here. And pretty good field position as well. The scrum will go down on the 30-metre line. Scott Thorburn is being told to come round to the side of the scrum at which Paul Simpkins is standing. Great attacking opportunity here, a scrum right in front of the goalpost. The Crushers win it, they go left. Burton. This is Rhoda. Haven't seen too much of him this evening. Phil Mooney. He picks up 10 metres, takes play towards the 20 metre line. Thorburn. Here comes Woodward. Takes on the manly defence. Eventually dragged down just 15 metres out. They're packing the blind side, the crushers. That's the way they go through Thorburn. Back inside the oh. ball comes. Stepping once, stepping twice. The crushers are through. What a try. Heath Crookshank, he scored last week at the football stadium. He does it here again tonight. Well, that was the set play. A set play that really went off well. Just bamboozled the Manly defence. It's been an arm wrestle this game. They moved the ball to the right. Clever deception here. They didn't have a clue where he was. It was Heath Crookshank. The head-on shot will show it even better. Great Not work here by David Miles. He was the run, one who ran the decoy and took out the manly defender, allowing Heath Crookshank a clear run to the line. Well, that'll give a, a smile to Graham Hurley, the Crushers coach, no doubt. There's nothing better than having a set play work to perfection. Obviously, they've practiced that uh, hard, and it's broken the deadlock. It's been a, a very close contest, this one, worthy of a semi-final, and the Crushers have broken the ice with a conversion, a relatively easy conversion at that, so the Crushers could lead by six. And it'll be Thorburn to attempt the conversion. The former Queensland under-19 player. Joined the club from Canterbury last year. And he's been a revolution, revelation for the Crushers. And he, like so many of his club mates, now facing amalgamation with the Gold Coast, who will go around later on this evening in a first-grade encounter up against the Roosters. He kicks and puts it straight through. So the Crushers lead Manly by six points to nil. They made it look uh, so easy in the end, Jason Taylor. They did, Eric, as you mentioned, it was a set play. Mario said that the Crushers had been building towards a try and, and they'd been just playing off the cuff a bit, I think, but they got that that uh, mistake came from Manly and they, and they got the scrum win and I think they set up for, a, for that for a couple of tackles. They are in the middle of the field, they worked it towards the right-hand side and just two players coming back on the inside. The first one was the decoy. Tuki straight through, beats one, beats another. He won't have the pace to go all the way, will he? He's tackled over the top by Shannon Keats. But what a run by Mark Tukey. Now the Crushers again with possession. No need for anything stupid at this stage. They take the tackle on the 30-metre line. Anthony Bella not happy with the tackle. That was David Miles tackled 50, 25 metres out from the line. And Paul Hubbard taken on the 20 so within the space of three or four tackles we're right back down the other end again this is Thorburn sees a gap twists out of one tackle Thorburn sets sail for the oh. line drag down just a couple of meters out last tackle now for the crushers they switch the play Bella with the kick ahead it's been knocked on by Manly has it no we saw Tukey go straight through off the kickoff. He pushed off a, a couple of feeble attempts to tackle. Tackle. This is the complexion of the game's changed. Manly just running the ball away from their own line. They were put on the back foot by an enormous run from Mark Tukey. 
Bill Weepu plays at 35 out from the line. Stepping goes Dunley. The owners, good on, the owners are manly now to try and straighten themselves up. They're under a little bit of pressure now as we see a, a, a nice kick by Wharton. Taken beautifully by Hubbard. Under pressure, manly, Paul Hubbard, too. Manly need to straighten up now and just settle down. Good tackle. Well, straight from the kickoff, it came. And they gave it to Big Mark Tukey. Beat one, beat two, straight through. He's Managed like to pick bus. up pace. Beat Wharton. Tried to put on the fend. It was Keats eventually who got him over the top. And in the meantime, we've had another penalty go towards the Crushers. And they will have the opportunity to take play inside Manly Territory. Well, over the last 10 minutes, there's Hopoate and uh, Samit Gillespie, both crucial players in Manly's plans to beat Newcastle over the weekend. Crushers getting a bit more football in this reserve grade game. Over the last 10 minutes, they've had pretty much the dominated possession. Manly need to put their hands up now as we see two footballs on the field. 6-0. This next five minutes could be crucial. Here comes Mooney. Sudden death, remember, as Mooney takes play inside Manly Territory. Tuki lines up again for the charge. Takes on Scott Park. This time he's put down 35 out from the Manly line. They work the blind, which is now packed. Tim Donovan, he frees it for Rhoda, but Rhoda met by Albert Torrens in the tackle. Bella. Carmichael. Good luck there. The ball went backwards. It's the last tackle. This is Donovan. He'll go to the air. It's a pretty good looking kick, too. Manly scrambling, but oh so close. And oh so cool, calm, and collected was Brett Wharton. Yeah, the kick uh, posed no real problems to Wharton. It was a little, not too much chase there by the cross. It's probably a bit too deep. Manly seem to have been camped in their own end. They just haven't had any field position. I, I think I can recall once where they had a chance at the Crushers' try line. And they've done well to only be 6-0 down. This game is uh, do or die, as, as Eric said earlier. Both sides doing their best. <laughs> Straightening up was Torrens. But that's one of the things they have to watch. Shane Dunley, when he runs, Manly are trouble. This is Fulton. He looks for support. He picks it up now. And they take the tackle on the 40-metre line. Last tackle now for Manly. Underwood in at dummy half. And the kick will be too long. It'll go dead in goal, and we'll come back to the 20. Yeah, but... No, we've, uh, it's come off a crusher's player, according to referee Paul Simpkins, so we'll come back to the goal line for the dropout. Oh, I'd like to see that again. I think he's possibly saying that Tim Donovan might have got a hand as he was trying to charge down. That's the only thing I can see. Yeah, well, a bonus set for Manly. 6-0 down. They, they're probably flattered by the 6-0 scoreline. I think the Crushers are probably better than that. But now Manly with the opportunity to put, put some points on the board. Here Underwood. Pushed back in the tackle. Wharton. This is Derdovic. He's had a couple of good weeks as Manly's made its push towards the finals. Johnson frees it up. At pace is Scott Park. Oh. He looks around for support. He had Torrens inside. Johnson. Magnus. Magnus threw the long pass, but up flat was the Crusher's defence. And David Miles and Burton effect the tackle. Magnus. Long pass for Dunley. 
Short ball. Scott Park at pace. They keep the ball alive, Manley. Play kick on. ahead. Doyle. He'll kick ahead again. Oh. Now it's just going to be a foot race. It'll be a try, this. 